So a little video on the issue with a couple of our players in isolation, just to give people an idea of the lack of information regards testing and how we get testing. The players, the two players we have in isolation were asked to ring the 111 number. I don't know what the emergency number is. And all they've been told to do is stay at home. No form of how do we get a test to find out if we have it. That doesn't help our club because our players are all back in training next week. So the last thing we need to do is have a player who has it and then pass it to all the staff, the players. So I'm scrambling around yesterday, uh, as is our CEO, trying to find out how do we get tested. We ring our local doctor. They can't tell us how they can come in and give everyone a test at the training ground, players, staff. We ring around, eventually I tell our CEO, ring Chelsea, ring Everton, ring Arsenal, ring all the clubs, even Millwall, um, who also, I believe, were doing testing or whatever else. But has anyone got an idea how we can do testing across the board? We rang our private health insurance. Again, they couldn't give us the right advice on that except self-isolate. Again, that doesn't help. So in the end, our CEO came across a company that was referred to us by someone, private company, and I approved us spending, I think it's costing us six grand. Uh, the testing kits are 150 quid each, which is mad. It's crazy. So those kits are going to be delivered to us. We're probably not going to get them till Monday. Um, we're then going to test the players in isolation, the players at the training ground, the staff. Then it'll be 48 hours, I believe, before we know whether or not anyone has it. And then obviously we can make a plan for what we do the next few weeks while the season's on hiatus because we still have highly paid athletes that need to be kept finely tuned, need to be training. They can't just sit at home on their arses, not if, particularly if legally they're allowed to go out to work. So um, we have to kick a plan into, into place, including possibly another kind of pre-season build-up to when the game starts again. And look, you know, this is my thing on it all. I know everyone's saying, oh, cancel the season. I think we need to calm down on that. We're a long way from that. You know, we need a period of calmness. The season has to be finished for the integrity of our sport and the game. Once this abates and once it dies down, and hopefully it will in the months to come, we've got nine, ten games left in all the leagues. It can be done, even if we have to delay next season and push it further down the line. So that's the only solution. Cancelling leagues, promotions, relegations, that's just not feasible because when this virus passes and normal life resumes, that will be just a shit show of lawsuits. But the most frustrating thing from my point of view so far has been the lack of information on how you get tested. So the UK government need to pull their finger out of their asses, in my opinion. Uh, and do what obviously America have done now at the testing where there's drive-through clinics, you can go in your car, you can test while you're sat in your car, and then you get the results within 24 hours. So they really need to follow suit in America, which has got a lot less cases and we've got over 300 million people living there. So the UK need to pull their finger out and get on this. So really it's been a frustrating 24 hours. Hopefully now with the testing kits I've approved the expenditure on, we can test and find out and, and, and make sure our players are safe and our fans who have come into contact are safe as well. So. You know, my advice to everyone out there is make as many calls as you can, do your research. If you have the symptoms, try and get some testing done. Um, thanks. Just thought I'd give you an update on that. Appreciate it. Cheers.